Hi everybody, this is Resort TV One, and today we're going to do a quick tour of the Caribbean Beach Resort. This is one that I've only been to once, and uh, Steph's never been to it at all, so we're kind of checking it out. Not really for the first time, but definitely uh, seeing some things we haven't seen for a while. So, And they're supposed to refurbish it pretty soon, so we wanted to kind of get a look at it before they change it so we can kind of see and show everybody how it was for years. So. This is the uh, entryway and the check-in area. Here's another angle outside of the uh, custom house slash check-in area. Not really a very big building and no restaurants in this one, kind of unlike the other resorts. Uh, this one doesn't have the food court or the restaurants inside of the uh, main building here. So this is the bus stop area. At least one of the bus stops. We're in the main lobby here. Very Caribbean feel. Slats in the roof and the shutters. Nice there. A lot of cast iron too. there again in front of the custom house here now we're in center town which is the uh, basically main area of the resort where some of the pools and um, food court and all that kind of thing is like I said the check-in area is not the main area of this resort it's right at the front probably to make it easier so people don't have to drive quite as far when they check in so we're gonna go check this out stop on our Disney cruise and we, um, we stopped at Nassau and it reminds me of that so the style is pretty accurate.
A lot of waterways around this entire resort so there's some places to rent boats and I'm not sure if these boats connect to uh, Disney Springs somehow but um, some of the resorts around here do connect so I wouldn't be surprised if they do but either way you can rent boats and you can really have a good time riding around on the water today's a really nice day for that and we're gonna walk down into this little island I guess it's called Caribbean Key or K I'm not exactly sure how to say that I've heard so many different variations of it but Maybe somebody can tell me a definitive answer in the comments. So I'm not really sure what's down here. I guess, uh, just, yeah, there you go. Bonus. That's like my, my style right there. down here that looks like there's a little shelter house there next to the hammocks and then um, kind of a little open grassy area that leads over to the playground. You can see the playground there. secluded and back away from the rest of the resort. If we look back onto that shelter house we saw just a second ago. A lot of lush tropical vegetation and very quiet other than the plane that just went by. We got a concrete alligator lurking in the grass here. You got to watch out for the little concrete alligator. He might get you. <laughs> we have dual concrete alligators. another view of the play area. Here's another bridge off the island that we were just on. And it heads over into another area of the resort. And the one thing about this resort is all the different islands that are represented. Uh, Caribbean islands that are represented in the resort actually have their own color scheme. So and a lot of them have their beaches that are really nice. So we don't have time today, unfortunately, to uh, 
tour all the different areas. This was one of the largest resorts at Disney World. Uh, has several different areas and several different countries, and you can kind of, or several different islands or countries represented, and you can kind of see, let's zoom in there a little bit, you can kind of see uh, different color schemes on the different countries there, so. And looking the other way on the bridge, you can see a different section of the resort with the more pinkish colored buildings as opposed to the yellow, so it helps people understand, I guess, where in the resort they are. A very, very peaceful resort with a lot of nice walkways. Similar to, uh, yeah, similar to Riverside um, and the formerly Dixie Landings with all the different pathways and places to walk. And they've got these little relaxation areas that are open from sunrise to sunset on this back on the Caribbean island here. So it's really peaceful little areas that are quiet and not quite as crowded and loud as the pool or the food court. I don't know if these are all little cabanas with benches or if they're hammocks also or if the hammocks were only in the other area, but it's really well done. And you can also see that resort, the part of the resort that we uh, looked at earlier. We've got a nice little area to sit there. The tropical vegetation is really neat. And you can see back on the, uh, across the uh, water there to the pool area which is very busy and active on this nice warm day where it's about 80 degrees right now so it's just about perfect well guys that's it from disney's caribbean beach resort for now uh, remember they are doing a refurbishment of this so hopefully we can check it out again after the refurbishment to see what's changed this whole port royale food court is supposed to be renovated as well as some of the main buildings and villages so anyway uh, make sure to keep checking the channel for more updates and remember to uh, leave us a comment and let you know let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.